Hi, it's Samantha with Lex Body Works, and I'm going just to do a demonstration of, an, of a new bath bomb press that I ordered, and I've been really excited about using it, and um, so I'm just going to, I've already, I've actually already made up my batch here, and um, I just am going to uh, demonstrate how this um, bath bomb press works. I got it from, uh, looks like Moody Bath is the place that I ordered it from. And it's just a hand press, but um, I had actually had a pneumatic press, pneumatic meaning the kind that you have to hook up to a um, <clears throat> an air compressor, but um, it wasn't manufactured very well, I don't think, because when it would press, it would the cylinder would actually bend every single time, so it was never getting, getting even pressure. So I actually sent that back, and I just ordered a traditional a hand type press. So, um, I'm just going to change the camera angle so I can just show you how I do this. Okay, so this is the bath bomb press. And as you can see, when I push down here, right, when I bring the handle down, it will press my mold, which will sit right in here. And one of the things that I really loved about this company is they made bath bomb molds, how I like to have them, which is with a little lip on the one side, right? And then this is the cylinder. And then this is the actual press part, right? And I just love this color too. I love the color blue. Um, it's just a real nice, uh, fun color blue. So I just ordered this mold. And then I ordered this size mold for shower steamers. But it's the same thing. I have the little lip, right? So it supports and will stay. And then here is the press part. So um, that's just what that looks like. Okay, so the first thing up is... Um, I'm going to take my mold. So I'm just using one that I've been familiar with and using a long time. And I just put in, whoops, I already forgot. I throw in a few of these um, little uh, pink Himalayan um, sea salt into my bath bombs. And then I just add in. Right, and then I'll weigh each one of these. So I want them to be about three and a half ounces. All right, so that's just a little too much. And really, I kind of tend to really go more by thickness. Right. Then I pray, pray, place this in the top here. And I just set it here. And I can give it a nice, good, solid press. And they have this handle here, right? So actually hold on to it to, to prevent it from tipping over. Give it a good press. And then I take it out. And then I loosen this side. And you can see how it's got those lovely sea salts in. And then I just gently push up. And I just want to check the thickness. Yep, that's about how thick I want them. And I lift it off and set it aside. And then we're going to do the next one. But All right, let me just demonstrate another one. I got my little um, Himalayan rock salt in there. And just kind of loosely packing. I thought it was just a little much. All right. I see my press part in. And giving it a good press. Gently lift the top. You can see that and then I just, some people like to tap and sometimes I do, but sometimes I find that makes it worse. So I'll just take it out. And when I say tap, I mean tap with a spoon. That's pretty much how it works. And I'm really happy with this press. It's actually the first time I used it, but I can tell I'm going to get really solid presses from here. All right. Thanks for watching.